Hi, I'm Roy. Last summer, I put together a video showing how I was going to convert my Polaris 2016 Ranger 6x6 to an EV. I used the 2014 Nissan Leaf motor, battery, inverter, and charger. I've got the project now completed with the help of my grandson, Arbor, and I wanted to share with you how it all turned out. Thank you. Let's follow the drive shaft back. The drive shaft also goes to the front wheels, the differential, and you can see the drive shaft going back. And then it goes into the, the differential of the leaf. And you'll see on the other side of the differential of the leaf, the drive shaft coming out and tying into the Polaris center differential, which then goes back to the back differential. And the differential on the leaf, we weld the, the differential solid so there's no actual differential anymore. It's just a straight drive gear. So both, both drive shafts on either side will drive equally. You'll see the, the chargers over in the back of the Ranger. And I did that because otherwise it, the whole unit would have been too high because the charger sat on top of the inverter and then below the inverter is the motor which then ties into the gearbox and differ, the old leaf differential. I placed the 12 volt battery in the back and, uh, and there again you can see the charger and I'm coming around the other side and these two orange wires they'll lead to the battery case and one takes power to uh, the charger and to the motor, inverter and motor, and the other one will be the actual charger, the one with the sort of more black on it with the orange little door. And here you can see the ho radiator hoses that come out of the, the different units, and uh, the charger, it likewise is cooled by water, and then those hoses run out to the front end, and come into the original Ranger um, radiator and fan system. Here you can see the dash area and you can see the resolve um, unit and then what's gonna be the, the dash. And uh, the item on the upper left, that's a joystick which I'll use for shifting for reverse drive and neutral. And then to the left will be the horn. The next item on the right of that is the display unit with the resolve so you can see where you are. And then there's switches, headlight switch, and then a voltmeter. And below that, the round gauge um, is uh, temperature of the water. And then there's some more switches. And then the, the six wheel, four wheel, six wheel drives to its ignition switch. This lever here was the original shifter to shift to different gears of the transmission and that I've converted to the park feature, a mechanical park feature. Park fe the park feature goes by a cable which is from the original shifter and goes through this uh, bell crank mechanism and ties into the uh, park feature which was originally electromechanical and I've converted to manual. So you can see there's a lever and then I've got it kind of covered to keep it sort of waterproof. And then you'll see a wire, this black box just to the left of the universal joint rods. And that's a switch, uh, a micro switch to make sure that the 
the park is off before you can shift the gears. Otherwise, you would cause chaos in the differential where the dogs are that put it in a park situation. Okay, on the battery reconfiguration, the original battery had this large stack in the back of the battery. The cells are vertical. And then on each side of the battery was a stack of four cells or six cells. And you can see that with that lower part of the plastic. And then there were four cells to the side of that. Well, I just flipped the four cells over on top of the the eight cells, I guess, I said six cells, eight cells, and fasten them together and hooked up the wires. So that will be the one unit, and then there's another unit, and then on top of that will be the large battery pack. So this view is the way it's going to sit in this aluminum box. And this space over here is where I'm going to be putting my circuit breakers and different switches and uh, relays will be going in there. Here's the battery case. I've got the two lower battery modules in. You can see the supports for the upper battery case. Here you can see the different uh, fittings on that for charging and for leading out to the, to the charger itself. Top battery is now in. And the space to the right is where there will be a plate and that's where all the controls will be. So I'll be working on that next after I bolt down the upper battery.